there is a single light of science and to brighten it anywhere is to brighten it everywhere hey everybody i'm joash and i'm very glad to have this opportunity to be leading you through this wonderful video on the occasion of national science day so hang on till the end and i promise you that we'll have a wonderful time seeing all these wonderful skits some biographical sketch and some experiments too for any occasion the grace of the almighty is immensely required so i invite the school choir for a prayer song shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead i will follow i for me the choice to listen to your voice wherever you may lead i will go be it in quiet pasture or a by gentle breeze the shepherd of my soul is by my side should i face a mighty mountain or a valley dark and deep the shepherd of my soul will be my guide shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead i will follow i for me the choice to listen to your voice wherever you may lead i will go let's welcome a student of our school for a wonderful biographical sketch of dr c v ram On this National Science Day, let's go through the biography of Sir C. V. Raman. What comes into your mind when you hear a name C. V. Raman, the inventor, the explorer, the scientist? Sir Chandra Shekhar Venkat Raman, the Indian physicist who made his motherland proud by becoming the first Indian to win the Nobel Prize for Physics. So, who is this C. V. Raman? How did he achieve all these things? And what is the story behind him? Sir Chandra Shekhar Venkat Raman was born on November 7, 1888 in the city of Tiruchirappalli, Madras. Raman's father was Chandra Shekhar Ramanathan Iyer and his mother was Parvathi Ammal. His father initially a school teacher and became a lecturer in mathematics and physics in Visakhapatnam. He played a brilliant mind even as a child and passed his matriculation examination when he was just 11. In 1903, aged just 14, Raman set out for the great city of Madras, now known as Chennai, to live in a hostel and begin a bachelor's degree at Presidency College. He topped the exams and won a gold medal. 3 years later, he earned his MA degree in 1907. He was deeply interested in science. He appeared for the financial civil service examination at the insistence of his father. He topped the examination and went to Calcutta in 1907 to join the Indian Finance Department as Assistant Accountant General. Still his heart was in scientific research and he began conducting research at the Indian Association for Cultivation of Science during his free time. His job was very hectic yet he was so dedicated towards science that he often spent nights at research. In 1917 he got the opportunity to join the University of Calcutta as the first appellate professor of physics. Raman happily resigned from his government post to take up this position though the new job paid much less than the previous one. Such was his dedication to science. Raman effect is a change in the wavelength of light that occurs when a light beam is reflected by molecules. During the late 1920s he experimented on the scattering of light by observing the behavior of monochromatic light which penetrated transparent materials and fell on a spectrograph. This led to the discovery of what came to be known as Raman effect which is presented at a meeting of scientists in 1928. He won the 1930 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the scattering of light and for the discovery of the Raman effect, becoming the first Indian to win a Nobel Prize in Science. 
he was honored with the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian award in 1954 in recognition of his invaluable contribution to the field of science. He was married on 6th May 1907 to Logasundari Ammal. They had two sons, Chandrasekhar and Radha Krishnan. Raman was very deeply interested in musical instruments such as veena, violin, mridangam and tabla. A few days before his 83rd birthday, Raman suffered a mild heart attack. But there was a quick recovery. He never dreamt of a life without work. He had told his doctor, I wish to live a 100% active and fruitful life. Raman, a seeker of truth throughout his life, passed away on 21st of November 1970. That's all. Thank you. Students of class from 1st standard to 5th standard have created wonderful cute posters. Have a seat. Let's enjoy all these posters. Hey, now what does science do without a couple of science experiments? Have a seat. Let us view some fun science experiments carried out by the students of our school. A warm day to you all. Today, I would like to conduct an experiment related to expansion of air on heating. Take hot water in a bowl. Fix a balloon on the mouth of the glass bottle. Place the bottle in the bowl of hot water. We can see that the balloon inflates. This is because when we place glass bottle in hot water, the bottle and the air inside the bottle will get heated. The heated air expands and goes up. The balloon inflates due to this air. Thank you. From Today I am showing the working model of solar and lunar eclipse. This is sun, earth, moon. Solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes between the earth and the sun.
Lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between Sun and the Moon. Dharma PV. I am studying in 7B. I prepared a model of a working model of acrylic lamp. Now see how it works. This is my electric lamp. Thank you. show electrolysis of water so i completed this project uh, with a nine volt battery uh, two pencil lapid pieces um, one and one battery connector and when we connect uh, the connector to the um, nine volt battery uh, you can instantly see that uh, the negative side is showing two times uh, bubbles than the positive side because the uh, water's uh, formula is h2o so that's all thank you National Science Day is celebrated each year on 28 February to commemorate the discovery of Raman effect and to raise awareness on the importance of science in our daily life. Government of India designated 28 February as National Science Day in 1986. Ever since, colleges and schools across the nation have been celebrating National Science Day every year. They do so by organizing various science related programs and our school is also doing so. The theme of Science Day this year is Integral Approach in Science and Technology for a Sustainable Future. Next, I would like to call Exxon and Edwin for a wonderful skit. They have done their utmost to showcase the knowledge of early inventions. Let us watch this video. Hello dear, what's up? Hey, I was just peeping through the printing history of this book. Any silent features? Oh yes, it's an old book, printed many years before. Then you will be more astonished if you come to know about the invention of printing press. Is it? Then tell me. Yes, 
The invention of printing press by Johannes Gutenberg in 1450 is a prominent landmark in the human history. It allowed literacy to expand greatly like anything and is the first invention that striked the world almost 570 years ago. Oh, that sounds interesting. Then what are the greatest invention that happened in the world? Oh, switch on the light. Hey, you are. The lights are on. Yes, that's the next invention that powered countless social changes. The invention of electric light by Thomas Alva Edison in the year 1879. It's truly a milestone that light up the world. The next one is the invention of automobile by Carl Benz in the year 1885. Obviously, that invention marked the increase in personal mobility and freedom. Another one that hit the human kind is the invention of telephone by Alexander Graham Bell. It helped in the spreading of communication and information across the world. Then what's about the vaccination is it available? No, not yet. And you know, the invention of vaccine is the next greatest after the telephone. People got protected from many diseases and helped in drastic decline of a death rate. Edward Jenner is the scientist behind this invention. Now, it's all online and we can get a printout from the computer center. Computer. Yes, that's another invention that changed the world. The first computer that resembled the modern machines we can see today was invented by Charles Babbage between 1833 and 1871. Yeah, it's the predecessor to the internet. If Wright brothers were not there, we may not see the sign. The invention of aeroplane allowed people and products to move quickly. This is not the end, but the list goes on. We are stopping now. Thank you. Hey everyone, if you made it till here, thanks a lot for watching. And thanks to all of our young scientists who made this video even possible. And yeah, have a beautiful day my friends.